Welcome to my channel, Outside the Levees. I'm Jared Serenay, and today I'm catching catfish on jug lines with Vinny Verdon from Pelican Bone Outdoors. Vinny is a fellow YouTuber, and we caught a nice mess of fish. Then, I went back to the house to cook up some catfish almondine with my son Jack. Let's get it started. Oh man, it's so cold. I mean, we're just not used to this, but we're gonna make the best out of it. We're catfishing today. Got a few things I wanna do. We're gonna put out some catfish jugs. We're gonna cut up some bluegill as bait. We got some nice big hooks, different things. So we'll put some here and then we'll move on to another spot, put some, and then we'll fish with a rod and reel a little bit as well. We got Vinny Verdon from Pelican Bone Outdoors. How y'all making? Another fella, fella YouTuber. And uh, what you got going on there, bro? Show them what you're doing. And we're cutting up some perch for them jug lines. So I'm not sure. This is my first time in this area, so I don't know how big they get over here. But uh, this is usually about the size that I usually cut up. Throw the head on one hook, the tail on the other, and just bait them up and wait for them to come in. All right, so we got uh, some of these noodles here that I borrowed from Mitchell. Shout out to Mitchell. And then these are Vinny's. So I'll let him show you all how we did it. So this is just a PVC, a cap on each end. It's actually got a little piece of rebar right there in the inside. And they just slide a noodle on there so it floats. And what you do is you load the noodle while you slide it where that rebar goes all the way to the top so that when it lays in the water, it's just gonna lay flat. When something comes and hits your line, it's gonna make that noodle stand straight up and wave at you. I even got some little reflecting stickers kind of faded because a lot of times I do this in the evenings at night, you can see them and make sure other boats don't run them over. But the good thing about that is you'll know if something hit it, even if it's not on there, you know something tried to take your bait so you can go rebait it and it's not just sitting there with an empty hook. Show them your hook, how you did that thing. So this is just on uh, some some of that thick catfish line and I got it tied to a swivel and it hooks just on a swivel because when them catfish get hooked up, they like to spin like a tornado. So you put that on there so your line don't get all twisted up and also got a swivel on the other end where it's connected to the noodle. Good deal, let's get a few out. All right, so we got all our jugs out, uh, saved a few, but we've got probably at least 20 out. I know for a fact we've got at least one on so far. Hopefully he stays on there, but we're gonna go ahead and park it, let him soak for a little while, and we're gonna rod and reel fish, just kind of hang out. I'm fishing fairly shallow. I've got a cork on, probably two and a half foot under the cork. We're seeing wakes around here. I'm hoping some of that is catfish running off as we came through, and uh, just gonna hang out a little bit. It's a beautiful morning. It's finally starting to warm up. Let's try to get some fish in here in the rod and reel, then we'll go check the jugs. All right, we rod and reel fish for probably about 15, 20 minutes, but I've seen all I could stand. We got noodles popping up down the canal, and uh, honestly, I just want to see some action. I don't care if we got a noodle fish all day long. I, it don't matter to me. I don't have to catch them on the rod and reel. I just need something to eat. I'm excited. Let's go see what we got. I get up here with ben. I don't know if he's big, get him, but he's ben. strong. Get him, ben. Get him, Ben. Might be a dang alligator. Oh, that's a fish. Ooh, that's a nice cat. Nice cat? Yep. Oh! Nice boom. Go ahead, big man. All right. Catfish number one, baby. That's a big boy. That's Ooh, a good one. Good and we still got our bait. And we still got the bait. We'll catch us some more. Here he comes. Oh, oh yeah. He, he, he knows we come. Here we go. Here we go. Here he goes. Come on back. We come on for back. You, baby. I don't think he's as big as the other one though. <laughs> come here. Right. Come for you, baby. There we go. Get him, Ben. Yep. Get him, Ben. Woohoo! Channel. Pretty old channel, huh, bro? Yep. Ooh, you look deep. Yeah, you're right. He so deep. Yeah, he wasn't coming off. Uh, that crap. I thought I saw this one moving just now, but I guess I'm yeah. wrong.
Oh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's on there. Oh, he was just tucked up under the grass. It, yes, sir. Another nice blue. We will not go hungry. Check him out. Oh, yeah. Catfish noodling, Ben. That's it, babes. You got got him. We got him, baby. I'm just an outdoors channel on YouTube. I center it around uh, hunting and fishing. Do pretty much everything, really, and it has to do with the outdoors. I do. A, uh, I just got into trapping this past season, so there's gonna be a lot of that. But now that the winter time's ending, I'm about to get into some some more fishing. I've uh, got to try and figure it out. The Hurricane Ida oh, put a hurting on us. Ooh, the cool. <laughs> Boy, they're firing Ooh, off now. Yeah, they're firing. Off. It might be. Oh, it might be getting warmer. Yeah, you know? they might start warmer to move. Temps. Yep. Back at my place because of Hurricane Ida, things change a lot. So we got to do some figuring out this uh, this season. But we're gonna get on it. We ain't gonna stop. We ain't gonna let that stop us. So. All right, check him out, y'all. He just hooked himself. He was getting it for a minute there. So, there he goes. Look at him. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, what oh, no. out there? Look at that one, y'all. Look at that one. Dang, these are big ones. Look. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're about to be busy, Vin. Yes, sir. So there's one, two, and then back here we got three, and then four. So we're about to be pretty busy, y'all. I think I'm going to go ahead and reel in this rod. I don't, I, we don't need another one. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Oh, he's going to go get in that tree. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, we're gonna go start trying to get them if we can. Vin, you mind driving the boat so I could grab a few? Absolutely, man. man that'll be fun. This, Let's man. do it. Oh, oh, oh! What is it? What's going on there? Oh, no. oh, that's the same. That's the same one, but he's. That's a big dude. That's a big dude. Hey, you do the, uh, same thing with look, look, look! The two of them are <laughs> crossing each other. They're gonna bump heads and be like, "Uh-uh, boy." Look, they're scaring each other. All right, let's go see. I think, I feel like he's on the tree here. Yeah, he's on the dang tree. Yeah. All right. Still on there? I don't know. Yep, there he's on go. there. Tree and everything. There, you go. <laughs> there we go. All you got right. a, tree, a tree pounder and a cat. A tree pounder and a cat. Oh. All right. He wasn't as big as I thought, man. He sure made a racket. That, yeah, warmed up a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he said, no, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to. Come here, peckerhead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, old big. <laughs> We got old big. Ugh. Right there, cuz. We got old big. Old big. All right. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Giving a whole lot of action. The second time it moved. Must be a little little bitty guy or crap. Yes. Oh, that's a good, good one. Channel. That's a good one. It's a real good one. There we go. Yes, sir. It's a good yes, eater sir. right there. Yeah, that's the one that I like to eat. Nice little channel cat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Throw this right. right back for sure. We're making a box out of it. That's enough for a sandwich. A, making a little box out of it. Yeah, you're right, bro. Get him, Ben. Get him, Ben. Get him, Ben. Oh, oh no, oh. another one. I felt him come off. Dang. I felt him come off. Oh, that's all. Hey. There we go. Good little eater. That's a little sandwich fish. There he is. There he is. Okay, well, we got plenty, plenty enough to cook. Uh, I feel like we've got, what, about seven or eight in a box? But they're pretty good size, so I'm not going to keep pounding on them. We got what we need. We can get out. 
I want to thank Vinny for coming on this crazy little catfish trip with me. If you do get a chance, go check him out. Pelican Bone Outdoors on YouTube. Same deal. South Louisiana boy does it all. Goes hunting, fishing, cooking. Go check him out. If you like what we do, if you like the style of stuff I do and Cape Fred and Nate over at Falling Tide, he fits in right with us. So please go check him out. Give him some help. Give him a subscribe. All right, well, what a fun little trip. If y'all get a chance, go check out Vinny with Pelican Bone Outdoors. He's got a fun YouTube channel all about the same type of stuff that I do. So please go check him out, Pelican Bone Outdoors. So we're just going to cook a simple catfish almondine. Jack's going to help me. Uh, we're going to start by dropping a stick of butter into the pot. Can you handle that, Jack, or you want me to get it? Me. All right, here. But they have to dip. Drop it in there. Just drop it in. All right, you want to let that melt down slow. I got that on a medium low heat. Let that get down. Once it's melted, we're going to drop our almonds in. So next, we'll go ahead and season our fish. I'm going to start with garlic powder. Comes out fast, so I'm going to go to my hand first. All right, so we'll get garlic powder on them. Get this knife out the way. Garlic powder, garlic powder, garlic powder. Garlic powder, garlic powder, garlic powder. Spread it around a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Next, we'll go with some kosher salt on them. Oh, yeah. Kosher salt, kosher salt. You don't need to do a lot to this catfish because you're fixing to cover it with like it. the almondine sauce. Jack's taking a quick break. So you don't need to do a lot here. And then finish it off with K Fred Cajun seasoning. Go see my boy K Fred. He's on here YouTube as well. Kendall Frederick. Don't need to overdo it here. Just keep it simple. Okay, flip it over, do it again. Before we do the other side, we'll go ahead and drop our butter in this pan. This pan's a lot hotter now. This is a uh, medium high in here because we want that fish to sizzle when we get it in there. Here, you start mixing up the butter, Jack. All right, so now I'm gonna season the other side of my fish. Both of them? Mm -hmm. Daddy, I'm all done. Okay, oh, alright. Then we about ready to start dropping some fish. That's it. Can drop it in there. Them? Actually, we could go up on heat a little now bit. Now we're going to put it in. Daddy, can I flip them? Alright. All our fish is in there going. Yay! Be good. Be good butter back down here. Okay, and our butter is just about melted in the almond pan. That's what you're looking for. Melt it down, low, medium heat. You don't need to uh -huh. do this for it hot. Here, uh -huh. dump them off. Good job, okay. man. While you're doing that, I'm going to check on these fish. Alright, that's good. Okay. Alright. Turn that up to a true medium now. All right, Jack, we're gonna let that cook, buddy. I'm very All right, and that's what you're looking for, a nice crisp to the outside. And you go ahead and flip. Jack said he wants to try to flip. Good job. All right, just flip it. Good. That one may have to go closer to the middle because it's not too crispy. But, there you go. I think we're getting Oh, it's oh, hard. <laughs> it's hard. Oh, no, here, let me, let's do it together. All right, so flip. Daddy, you do the big one. Yeah, right. you do the big one, Daddy. Okay, baby. See, like these here, then we need to get these to the middle because they're not getting crispy enough. Ready? Come check our almonds again, Jack. See how they're looking. They're getting a little brown in there. You see, Jack, when I move it, you see how it's a little brown? Yeah. See that, how that butter's just a little bit brown? Yeah, yeah. It's hard to see with the bubble. Yeah, uh, you want it to be under. fairly dark brown. That's when you know it's done. But don't do this too fast. Don't try to do it too hot and too fast. You want to take your time with this part. You ready? Yeah. All right, so we're pretty much done on the fish. Like I said, you just get that nice crispy edges to it. There it is. There's your catfish. So we'll set that here. All right. <laughs> okay, we're going to finish our almondine sauce here. I'm going to do it. Go ahead. We'll put... A little handful of parsley. Go ahead, Jack. Get it in there. 
Good. Good job, Zach. Good job, buddy. <laughs> and a little bit of lemon juice. What are you doing? Good job, Jack. And my other. Uh, All right, and we'll push this off to the side. It's done. Here, Jack, let's get it off the heat. All right, not bad for a little day of catfish jugging. And now this is what makes it. That is Daddy. the almond dean right Daddy, there. I'm do it. You want to do some? Yeah. Okay, how about I get it? All right, get it on there. Ooh, woo. I don't need help anymore. Man, you going to try it with me? No. No? All right, let's see what we got, y'all. Some fresh catfish from our local water. Mmm. Mm. Try some? So easy, so good. Gotta have fresh catfish though. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe now because we got plenty more coming. Click the notifications bell down below and like this video. We'll see y'all soon.